diabetes. And I'm talking about a day. I was in the world. I was in the world. This is your world. It's me and And we are back with another episode of Verse for Verse. James yeah. Rich is back in town, fresh off yeah. vacation, fresh off his sabbatical, birthday vacations, <laughs> and all of that. Fresh off um, sabbatical. You know, you missed you missed a, a crazy one last week. Really? Yeah. What, what was last week? Um, you missed Big. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What song did you do? These niggas was talking. It was crazy. We didn't do bro. Big. These niggas was talking. These niggas was talking yet. ridiculous. That was the first Big joint. It was talking ridiculous. <laughs> I got to show you that. What a song we did, Juicy. You we know also guy. did Music Soul Handsome. Child, Teach Me, which yeah, nah, was, was another crazy Oh, one. that was my song. But the Big joint was by far... The craziest thing I've ever heard in my life, yeah. man. I'm tired. I miss with your man. Your man. Your man said some <laughs> blasphemous things. I'm just gonna throw it out there. <laughs> I say, Big is like Robert Ori, bro. Well, I'm not gonna say what Haas is like. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, listen, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, we were you tried to make it make sense. Right. It was terrible. But we um, tried. I say Haas. that to say, you know, this week. We gonna go back to you know some of these these legendary rappers who you top can't, five dead or alive, right? You know what I mean. We we can't disrespect our legends, our New York legends, and say things like they are like Robert Ory. He's not and no like, shade to Robert. I was about Ory. to say the same right. thing. No disrespect to Robert Ory, but you right. know you know who you are. You know what like I'm he saying? knows he's he not gonna say he's you know big. We, we spoke about this stuff. It's like it's so many different legends you can mention. And you say Robert Ory. Yeah, he went crazy. You man. know? Yeah. It's crazy. But right now, we talking about top five, dead or alive, Jada, Mwah, kiss the game goodbye. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we gonna, <laughs> <laughs> gonna talk about one of my favorite joints, you know, as I hit y'all up, I guess it's one of y'all favorite joints as well. I'll yeah. be by your side. You one know what I mean? Um, yeah, like, I, I don't know... When I heard this song, I guess when the album came out, because it wasn't a single, it's one of them joints yeah. on the album that just hit crazy, almost like it's one of the singles. Yeah. You know I mean, this I mean? song gets played in the club still, so, right. you know, and it's not even like an upbeat song. So that just goes to tell you how hard this song yeah. actually is. You know what I mean? Just to bring it back to, you know, when we talk about Big and, you know, being a lyricist and being able to rap well. You play certain songs by niggas who could rap like this in the club, the whole club is going to rap them and go crazy as if this is a party record. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I think, it I'm going to get into it, but the lyrics, it's just, it's great work. It's not just like bars. It's like, it's what rap is, it's what hip hop's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So it's going to move you. You're going to feel it in your spirit. You, you know what I mean? It turns you up. And Jada always is dropping gems. That's one of my always. favorite things about Jada. That he's always... Giving you some information. You, you bring them to the Gucci store, show them the loaves. The loaves. That line is so Hood crazy. Niggas, I'm just showing you growth. growth. That's mm -hmm. it. All right, let's get into it. Verse Yikes. one. He said, "Well, it starts by your side. It makes me strong and gives me the strength to bang, bang out and make, make these songs. songs. If I do it on the spot or if it takes me long, they can't stop me. Even if my brakes was on, I'm still by your side. I'm always here." Nobody's perfect. Life ain't always fair. I used to not give a f I ain't always care. When it's too hot for the hammer, you know the hawk is right by your side. All right, let's stop there, man. First, he starts off, it makes me strong and gives me the strength to bang out and make, make these songs. I'll do it on the spot or if it takes me long. <coughs> I love that because, you know, we are all artists in here. You know what I'm saying? And for me, no matter what, like, I... I try to get my, my records done, you know, as quick as I can. But sometimes it may take longer than others. You know what I mean? It may. But either way, 
I'm going to give you that heat nonetheless, whether it take, whether I come in the studio and write my rhyme right there or if I got to go home, take it home, come back and finish it up. You know what I'm saying? What, um, what is he? What is he referring to when he says it? It makes me strong. It gives me the strength to bang out and make these songs. What do you think he's talking about? Um, hmm. Didn't think about that. I'm thinking he's talking about. Damn. I don't know because in my mind, I'm thinking like he's saying it by his side. Is he saying like, like I don't know, being by somebody's side, being there for somebody, or like is it just his like his purpose, like? So, my my interpretation of it is that he's talking about in in that instance like that this hip hop this this mm -hmm. that type of shit the hip hop type got shit. you mm -hmm. makes so, sense and, so in that oh yeah, yeah. instance with, with the music and then he's going to get into because the hip hop the streets all of that shit is all you yeah. know involved in the same type of vein so in the beginning the hip hop I know, got it and like and I, I think it's, I think it's even like you said even like the struggle like it's like just the struggle of like where he's coming from with hip hop, because this song is a message, obviously. Yeah, right. So it's like I think his purpose of like coming from where he comes from, like that, that gives me the strength. Like I gotta get this out. I gotta get this workout. And like you said earlier, like he's hit part of all the locks living off experience is about living off experience. It's about dropping gems. Thanks. So I think their 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 mission has always been to give the game, and it might be, and it's the streets. They are the streets. So I feel like it's they they feel a responsibility. To bang out and make these mm -hmm. songs, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think that's what he really feels. Can't stop me, even if the brakes was on. Um, Can't. He said, I'm always here. Nobody's perfect. Oh, I said that part. Um, he said. Mm -hmm. Until you get to the car. Right. And you got to get through the D before you get to the R. Uh, if I don't get you the day, then <laughs> I'm going to get, get you tomorrow. tomorrow. As soon as you come out your crib, I'm going to be right. right. When I'm, I'm supposed, supposed to be close to you with the toes close to me. And screw if it's the right or the wrong thing. thing. When you went inside of that long thing, you wish you had a strong team. Pause. Pause. Word. <laughs> um, yeah, that was man, crazy, I, though. Like, this, this record is really different, you know what I mean? Is it three verses or is it two verses? It's three. All right, so Pretty yeah. sure it's three. They wasn't doing two verses back then. <sighs> Facts. They was coming with three of them things. Facts. You know what I mean, back when the public could listen to three verses mm -hmm. and enjoy it. Now they cut the song off. Now man. niggas is doing one verse, two hook songs, and that's what you get. I don't. I also don't want to overlook um, when it's too hot for the hammer. You know the, the hawk is right. right. Yeah, Doesn't yeah, want to right. throw that out there. Yeah, Don't no, want to overlook that ball. Mm -hmm. let's, let's not. Sometimes it's way too hot to, to be, be outside like that. No, but 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 the hawk is by your side until you get to the car. Cause you uh -huh. always gotta get to, I get to the hammer. Right. You always get to the car, <laughs> and when the hammer, mm -hmm. he got the hawk, but you gotta get to the hammer. The yes. hammer's still there. Yeah, until, I just can't until, walk. Until, gonna get to until the hammer. Until you get until to, get to the I just can't walk around <laughs> with it because yeah. it's too hot. It's too hot yeah. outside. So he might hawk so. you now, but then he's still <laughs> getting to the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> and if he doesn't get you today, <laughs> he'll get you gonna get you tomorrow. <laughs> as soon as you walk it's out the crib, crib. I'm a, so he didn't even go home. He's waiting. <laughs> it's like nah, he's he's ready to get out the crib. It's like tag. Oh, I couldn't get it, him. He's inside it's, now. It's like you were saying. Though, from the, so from the beginning, he's showing you that how he attacks everything with the same ferocity, tenacity. Yeah, mm. son. The the songs I'm getting never the song done. I ain't stopping until I bang these songs out. Yeah. If it's you, I gotta get you. I'm gonna get you no matter what. If I gotta get you today, tomorrow, I'm getting you at the car, at the whatever. Right. I mean, although this was on the, all this was on D Block on Rough Riders, you know that's that's always been Diddy's mantra, right? Same Can't energy. stop, won't stop. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Stop, won't stop. Oh, you know, you know, they, they, was, they yeah, was over there. Not, exactly. And as I'm reading there. the hook, you know, the sample, I love you too much to lose your sweet touch and your love, I find you. It sounds more exactly like what Seth was saying. He's talking about hip hop and, you know, how he feels about the music and stuff, you know, the hip hop. Yeah. Uh, verse two. As long as you need me, I'm down for whatever, homie, as long as you feed me. So I put a big joint out as long as the TV. <laughs> oh, I, I can play my part and just breathe easy, right? right by your side. As soon as something happened to you, your niggas, niggas are bouncing. bouncing. You, you thought they were scrapping with you. Now you cleaning clean your cuts with peroxide. peroxide. You wake, wake up in the ER with, with the dot right. By your side. He's bugging. Putting in you. <laughs> and you can't even eat right. They putting food in you. <laughs> Yikes! Body's getting colder. colder. Devil, Devil on your shoulder. shoulder. Your mom's is in the room, but, but you, you just want to hold her. Wow! Yeah. Yikes! He starts getting wow crazy. He's he's letting you understand. He's going to every length 
if there's in any yeah. endeavor, anywhere it is, he's taking it to the furthest, fullest extent. This is crazy as I read it because it's like this weird, not weird, but it's like this double entendre type thing because he's talking about being by somebody's side, mm-hmm. right? Like holding them down. So as and long you as you need me, some you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But then it's also like I'm by your side, like. I'm I'm handling shit like I'm on you I'm yeah. on your ass like at Finish all times right like I it's like so it, same his, his friend he could be by it's the his same side tenacity or yeah. his opposition I'm he by, by your side, side too side. I'm on your heels <laughs> I'm nigga. On your yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm right by your side <laughs> he said, he's down for whatever now, as soon as something happened to you your niggas are bouncing and you thought they were scrapping with you yeah. now you cleaning your cuts with peroxide and wake up in the ER with the docs right. Mm-hmm. Your side. And they put tubes in you. Oh, that's a terrible feeling, man. To yeah. think that, you know, your niggas is going to be chilling. I got a couple of friends who've been in some issues, you know. Shout out to Nick. I remember, you know, some issues happened <laughs> with these guys from Brooklyn known as the Scheme Team. And, you know, they came to fight him. And he had a lot of homies with him at the moment till they seen all of the Scheme Team pulling up on him. Wow. And then all his friends, a lot of them ran away. Wow. And then he was scrapping by himself pretty much. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. He's still friends with those people? I I, I think so. But oh, you know, wow. You know, you know, I think you I know think, I, friend, I think friendship it must have been loosely that word must be. I was gonna defined. say I think, you know, there's a, a certain thing that I felt as, you know, having friends growing up. Like you learn who your friends are. And you don't expect certain yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, makes them. sense. That makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, like this. Uh, I expect. <laughs> like I think I, I let's say I know I have a friend who's soft and don't fight, and he gets nervous and scary, right? So I'm not, don't fight scary though. I, I think there's nuances between all of those statements. Yep. Well, saying somebody's so and say they off. don't fight. I'm sorry. You're right, you're right, saying, right. I was going to let them get yeah, it yeah. off and then... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I, they're, they're, they're three different things, mm-hmm. but that's why I put <laughs> yeah, them together. Yeah, characteristics. <laughs> put <laughs> them that, all on this nigga. If that, if that nigga <laughs> is all that, those things. you know what I'm saying? saying? <laughs> if a nigga is those things, I'm not going to say, yo, I got beef with these niggas. Come with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to... Because then if he doesn't fight, I'm not going to be like, what happened? Like, I know you don't do any yeah, of yeah. these things, so why Facts. did I even bring you? Makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So what are you saying? No, I was, he, he was going to... No, I was going to just say it was and those three I'm, things. I'm I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know. But you're just saying if they're all those things. My <laughs> thing is I was like, if they're one of those things, I don't think that says that you should just let your friend um, get two put in them. Um, <laughs> that's <laughs> where I'm at with it. I don't care if they was all three of those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like... For instance, you know, there'll be things in life where you might have to give a speech. You might not be comfortable speaking it, whatever it is. Yeah. And this is way more things serious have than to that. Get done. Yeah. Niggas get up and talk in front of people, be mad, nervous, sweating, whatever. So if some nigga run up on your your people, if, if <laughs> we all got to be putting cups on our uh, peroxide on our cups, yeah, or we should all it have is, peroxide. Oh, it's a problem. That's one thing I always say. I forget. You would be scared I, and get beat up. I've been saying this my hey. whole life. I don't even know where it came from, but because I'm less I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover, yeah, not a like fighter. Fight. But Nobody one do. thing I always used to think about, because for whatever reason, hung around a lot of friends and my friends and people's always in some type of problems <laughs> that for me it was always like I never wanted to be the person telling the story to that person's like loved ones like everybody this God forbid somebody dies up. or they hurt I, I gotta explain uh-huh. the whole story I don't know how I could would be able to function with Niggas that be like why they didn't beat you up yeah like what, what were you doing and I've always been afraid of that like damn like I'm gonna have to tell this story so fuck it I'd rather just get the same outcome they got up too. yeah no, nah, I feel like I'm you know, as I said, I, because, <laughs> um, you know, I think women have this problem where they know who their friends are, but mm-hmm. they try to act like they don't know. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, know I know exactly what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they know their girlfriend always trying to mess with chicks' mans. Yeah. And then they're going to say, hey, I'm going to leave you in the house with my man right now. And hopefully yeah. nothing happens, <laughs> even though you got a track record of <laughs> messing with chicks' mans. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, at what point are you going to say... Listen, I'm not going to put my friend in a situation where they, I want them to do something that they clearly are not into doing. Yeah, so now I understand you you're know? saying leave the soft, scary. What was the other one? He was, he was three of them. Don't fight niggas. He was three of them. The soft, scary, don't leave fight niggas. Leave that nigga niggas. home. But, but if the scary <laughs> niggas pulled up on there. you, yeah, yeah he didn't bring uh, them nowhere. Scary yeah. niggas pulled up on him. Soft, yeah. scary nigga got to be beat up. We got to I mean, be beat up together. Then 
it's bad, but you end up getting put <laughs> tubes in you, yeah. and you can't even eat right. right. They putting food in you. Your body's getting and colder. colder. Devil, Devil on your shoulder. shoulder. Your mom's is in the room, room but you, you just want to hold her. Uh, nothing but realness. realness. That's why everybody and in the, the world could feel this. That's a fact. I'm, I'm on top, top and y'all under me. So when it's over, if, if I ain't in the front, at least I'm going to be by your side. Perfect. Even right there, you're talking about the soft guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't got to be in the front. You will be by the side. Just mm -hmm. be there. Try yeah. to do something. Jump yeah. on. And, you know, um, I don't remember exactly, but I think some of them were still there. But, you know, it, it was, they were overpowered. Yeah, I don't want to, yeah. like, you I'm know not, what I mean? Yeah, I don't even know that. Question. Question. I'm just yeah. saying in general. Yeah, 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 yeah that's what yeah, I was yeah. saying. Like, I thought that's a, just a fire line. Facts. Like, it, in a multiple ways. I'm sorry, go ahead. If a bunch of niggas get into an altercation or whatever, everybody don't be fighting to the same level. Yes, fact. you True. got niggas that's in that group that be mopping niggas, True. grabbing niggas, slamming yeah. niggas, and you got might got a nigga that just you know <laughs> that just this nigga might just, be it, it just be in that house <laughs> like a decoy. Sorry, you know what I'm Cause yeah. they're not they're yeah. like, what is this guy gonna do? Yeah. He's by himself. Watch him. We gonna yeah. rock this nigga. You yeah. know what I'm yeah. saying? But that but that you line know, I was gonna say about times. like I'm on t top and y'all under me. So when it's over, if I ain't in the front, at least I'm gonna be by your side. It's like on nothing. Other like double entendre. It's like I could win, but it's like they say one of my favorite things, the old school thing to say, but like whether well, shoot for the moon, land on the stars, mm -hmm. or vice versa, or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think that concept is just so fire because as long as you try your best, you'll move forward mm -hmm. and you'll and you and you will achieve, even if right. you don't achieve whatever that ultimate Something goal is. Something progressive will happen. Yes, Perfect. exactly. Uh, verse three, until they finish me up. By your side until they right. finish, finish me off. off. They don't get us both. You'll, You'll be, be sending, sending me, me off. off. There you go. And please just do his it's favor. favor. Stick to our, our little plan and fuck the money. Just, just keep my little man. man. Hold, hold on. Let's talk about that. Hold on. <laughs> until they finish me off. Mm -hmm. Pause. If they don't get us both, you'll be sending me off. So it's like... Once again, you I'm not stopping. That guy. I'm not stopping. You got to right. kill me. You got to kill me for in order for me to stop or quit or stop being by your side or stop holding you down or stop achieving or stop progressing. You got to finish me off. Son, and and he puts himself in the area with the responsibility of, so he's saying, if they don't get us both, Yes. They're going to get me, nigga, because yeah, I'm making sure I'm you going. get out of there. I'm going. I'm make right, sure he you already put yep. himself in that position. I'm taking like, that. Like, if it's between me and you, don't worry about you it. You're good. Yep. Right? Going back to kind of what you said, not to keep going back yeah, to the same situation. He's a soft, soft, scary nigga. Right. You ain't got to worry, yeah, my nigga. Worry I was, was going to say, <laughs> I'm you know, diving on the, you know, all that. <laughs> what you said, you know, he said he's going to hold it down regardless. Like, what if he's also saying, you know, like, if they don't get us both, you're gonna have to fill away sending me off, like you know what I'm saying. Like you'll be sending oh, you need me to, off. You need to, you need to go with me or you, something. That's what you're saying. I'm saying, you know, he's like, if they don't get us both, nigga, you're I gonna be sending me off. I think that's what he's saying, off. though. I'm just saying. I think, think about I, it. I think he's saying what Seth is saying. Like if he's saying, like if they don't get us both, I'm going. Yeah, you ain't gotta worry. You're gonna I'm send by me. Your side, like you're sending you got me no off. Worries. Like you're sending me off. Like in a funeral yeah, arrangements. I'm thinking that about what you said. You don't want to be the guy telling the story. I get what you're you know what saying. saying. You're going to be the guy actually sending me off, telling the story. <laughs> no, yeah. that's what he's saying. You don't right. want to be that guy. I don't want to be, but, he's, but he's, he's letting you, back to what you were saying, like right. maybe he knows this ain't really, I'm not expecting you to do Got that. You, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm he's gonna saying do he's never going to be telling yes. the story, my nigga. Yes. Whatever Please happens to niggas, it's favor. happening to me. Stick to our little plan, because I'm going to say, it also can be uh -huh. that it maybe you willing to go to, but he's actually saying, I'd rather you not. Because somebody got to... Uh, just keep my little man by your side. Somebody you know, gotta be there. Jada also has a crazy fire ball where he says, um, and shit just got real, son. Cause my godson just became my, my real, real son. son. Yeah, crazy. You know what I mean? Crazy. So, you know, he's a different type of dude, yeah. man. You know? Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, so he, you know, he grew up with his pops and everything. Mm -hmm. so he's a big family man. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Um, he said. <laughs> F the money, just keep my little man by your side and show, show him, him the hope. 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 And he going to think he know how it's going, but show, show him, him the ropes. ropes. And if you bring, bring him to the Gucci store, store show him the loafs. Hood niggas, niggas, I'm, I'm just, just showing, showing you growth, how but I'm still right by your side. Hold on, I'm sorry. How powerful is that? Yeah, go ahead, Seth. <laughs> For real, just because <laughs> you know 
if niggas is going to the Gucci store, they wasn't focusing in on <laughs> Lowe's. Uh, not they, before they this the, song. Nah. They want After the monogram song, sneakers. They want the thing that's going to niggas is going to say Gucci. Yeah. Uh -huh. Big word on it. All of that. He's trying to say, you know. Could put it a little more low key and, and you know keep it a little more. Once again, another line that's classy. still relevant, that still hits hard. It's once again, it's kind of like when Hove made change clothes. It's one of those things where it's like now having Gucci low on is actually fire. Yeah. How fire would it have been though if he never said this line? Like I'm mm. kind of thinking about that Same. right now. Like if he never mm. says this, For the right? Hood. Like, yeah. people might never really care. Like, it's just like, eh, I'm going to just keep getting the sneakers or some other weird shoe that, Man. like you said, is all, you know, crazy. Yeah, and I, th I think that it's big because look at the the mindset. So if you can afford, because we can't afford, or most some of people. us, yeah. And even the ones that can't. buy it can't afford exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> so for most people that can't afford it, if they get it, the idea that they have is to let everybody right, know no. that I got on or something that's Gucci. But he's trying to say, we got to get to the point where we can afford it, and then when we can, it's not about letting everybody know you yeah, got on yeah. Gucci. Yeah. It's being in those areas where people that can afford Gucci yep. are, and just be and okay. Also, and, and, and not to say, I don't want to use, I'm trying to find the right way to say it, but not say do things how they do it, but you're not, it's not showing no growth if you get in a room and still act like you don't belong yeah, there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, act like you belong. And I, I people mm -hmm. say that, like, act like you've been here before. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of what I think he's also saying, too, or like, show them the yeah. loafs. Like, I'm just showing. Also, back to another thing, I was, I was listening on to 19 Keys on the way over him, and we was talking, and he was talking about, like, not copying. And that's another thing that back in the day people wasn't into. That like, wasn't yeah. into copying everybody. So for him, it's like, I'm going to show you growth. Like, I'm not about to buy the shoe that everybody's about to buy. I'm going to buy some loafs. You know what I'm saying? Nice. I'm going to go on vacation and do yeah. something else. Um, you know, and not for nothing, uh, we got to be clear about something. I love Jada Kiss to death. He's in my top five favorite yes. rappers of all time. But he was on uh, Drink Champs with his family, his father, and supposedly... Clarence's parents have a real good we know this. I, see, I tried to breeze over it. I gave him credit so, for being a family man. So it's like, you don't got to go no deep into this. I just want to be clear. He's had all the tools to do these yes. different things outside mm -hmm. of the so hood. He's able to show growth because he knows some growth. So you, you know got to each one teach kiss. one. You know each mean? one teach one. Yes, sir. You know Kiss don't got his aim his gun at you to the be focused. focused. And if you broke now, nigga, when you see, see those chips... chips Watch how many people come, come out, out of nowhere and try to be by your side. The answer's plenty, because when you handling business, you can't be friendly. And if you trying, trying to stack something, can't be pennies. Most likely, Grants and Benjis, and you better keep them. Woo, by your side. How real is that, though? Crazy. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Man, Watch guess. how many people come out of nowhere and try to be. Yeah. Yep. They're going to try to be by your side. You see those chips? Yep. <laughs> Yo, I, I forgot what I wanted to say before about the show them loafs, hood niggas, I'm just showing you growth, but I'm still right by your yeah. side. Mm -hmm. God, he's just reminding you he's still right yeah, there. No matter how it looks, I'm right there. And that like that resonates with me all the time because I've always been a person that tried to elevate and progress. But you have this you have this pull thing when you come from where we come from where it's like whenever you feel like you're leaving or accelerating or progressing past people, you start feeling like people don't want you to do that. And it's like you sometimes got to always remind them, like, I'm still right by your side, even if I'm elevating or even if I'm growing. And I think right. as a culture, we got to get out of that, like that idea of like whenever somebody's elevating, we feel like they're leaving us or they're different or they're changing. It's like we're supposed to change. Facts. We're supposed yeah. to change. If we don't, if we stay the same, we're going to stay in the same situations over and over as well, too. And according to Clarence and his parents with their real good marriage, <laughs> um, <laughs> niggas that he didn't have to be in situations. Yes. So if, if his niggas was Styles and mm -hmm. she, he didn't have, he didn't to, have be to be, out be there around with these him. niggas. So right. he wanted to be, to be body with like, his people yeah. by their side. Yes, like, sir. And that's that's powerful. You know how crazy this Even whole Clarence went to Clint, situation. Dale, that's a private school. <laughs> you know how crazy this is though. But, but but yo, let me tell you some wild stuff. And you know, since they were older now, and like you know, I'm really into like spirituality and stuff. It's weird that like 
I I feel like I can kind of relate to that, right? Like in a way, like, like we, you know, what I'm saying like we grew 100%. up with our parents, and you know, we've always lived like in the hood, but not in like the projects, I right? And it's just like, I'm but just we chose, but we chose to be with our friends, you yes. with you know what I'm yeah. and yes. put ourselves in situations that we knew better. We probably shouldn't have been, and we could have got away from, avoided. Well, but it's just like. You know, when you care about your people, it's like you just do the right. You stay by the, by their side. Yes, I, I was, was go ahead. No, no, no. You go ahead. You... I, I, I mine's gonna be quick. Listen, <laughs> I hung too. out with some of the worst people ever. With Jada Kiss, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And and as I got older, I'm like, yo, I was bugging. bugging. It was Why no was reason. I doing this? But I wanted to show him, like, yo, I I, I understand where you come you, from. Yeah, yeah you know I mean, and through. I'm with you. I'm gonna hold you down. I got you. Yeah, you know what I mean. But now I, <laughs> the nigga is still doing the same things, yeah. and it's like, bro, <laughs> niggas, I'm we just showing you growth. We didn't go to private school though. No, we was right in the hood <laughs> schools <laughs> with all the hoodlums. Shout out to Jada, you had to go. Yeah. Let's. Go I ahead. was going to say though. So when I was younger, same thing, cause you know we came, Mama Dawn, yeah. Pop had us in situations where we wasn't going to live in the hood or whatever yeah. necessarily, right. but. Um, when I was younger, I used to spend my summers. We used to stay yeah. in an abandoned building, bro. Me, <laughs> Crazy. Mo, be like they lived. They moved into a building that was abandoned and just Set habitated it, it yeah. somehow. They had the hood electric man hooked it up, and <laughs> yeah. I used to be in there. Like we didn't have to be in there. I but didn't that's have to what be you wanted to be with your, people, with your family. Yeah, it was with my family. You made the fact. Family, that's you know. a beautiful thing when you think go. about it. Scary thing though, if you don't got solid friends, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. You know, because that's a part of it, too. I think you have to be able to discern who's worth, you know, putting yourself in those situations for. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't regret anything, really. I mean, I shouldn't say that. There's been a wish didn't happen. But, you know, I think ultimately everything happened the way it should have happened. Right. I learned a lot from the things yeah, that. that's what I mean. I grew. I, and, yeah, I wouldn't be I, who I am now. You know what I'm saying? Like, now I move a little differently because of certain things <laughs> that I realized. I cheated. Death. Yes. Cheat my whole life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, crazy. It's crazy. But what's your favorite part of this record right here? These three fire verses. What's up? Damn. Well, I wanted to go right to if you bring us to the Gucci store show I'm the lowest hood mm -hmm. niggas. I'm just showing you growth. But I feel like I normally say stuff like that. So I'm gonna <laughs> switch it up and go to the end just because even the flow and just what he was saying. So he goes. This whole part's a lot, but whatever. You know, Kiss got it. And, um, and if you broke now, nigga, when you see those chips, mm -hmm. watch how many people come out of nowhere, try to be by your side. The answer's plenty, because when you handling business, you can't, can't be, be friendly. friendly. And if you trying to stack something, can't it can't be, be pennies. pennies. Most likely, Grants, Grants and Benjis. Benjis. And you better keep them. Mm -hmm. That last part, I think, is very key, because I know it sounds like, oh, keep your money up. But it, I think if you listen to what you're talking about, you're talking about investing. Mm -hmm. Like he's talking about really growing well, his and father taught him a, well. mm -hmm. a big Mama. part to keep money is I mean you have to do the right things with it. Like you can't just be just right. blowing it and I mean just throwing it away. So yeah, I think that's definitely my favorite part. Okay, big you. Um, um my joint is uh, nothing but realness. Mm. That's why everybody in, in the, the world, world could feel this. I'm on top and y'all under me. Mm. So when it's over. If I ain't in the front, at least, at least I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be, be by your side. Yikes. 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 Damn, Jada. I guess I'm gonna have to go with. I used to not give it now. Nah. I ain't <laughs> no waste kid when I'm it's go, too hot for the hammer. I'm gonna go as soon as something happened to you. Yeah, niggas, your niggas are bouncing and you, you thought they were scrapping yeah. with you. Mm. Now you're cleaning your cuts with peroxide and you wake, wake up, up in the ER yeah. with the dock ride. Nobody wants to go through that. You know what's nah. crazy? As I, as you're saying it, it doesn't have to be literally, right? It could be figuratively too, right? Like you go through something Thanks. and and people could have helped you through mm -hmm. it or supported you through it or they just watched you fail or they helped you fail. I just that. seen a thing on the gram where the dude was saying, you know, if you win the lottery. Oh, I just posted that. Oh, you, yeah. Your family going to like, say, we, we rich. rich. Yep. Yeah. But as soon as you go Niggas bankrupt, like you, lose, like, you, you bankrupt. bankrupt. You take all your fact. L's by, yeah, nah, you know for the saying? most part. So, so yeah, big, man, you got to be strong enough to, you know. Yeah. yeah. So this is another episode of Verse episode. for Verse. Yeah. Jada Kiss by your side. Yeah. Uh, what album was this? The uh, it's it's not Kiss Again Goodbye, right? Kiss of Death. Kiss of Death. Yeah. Kiss of Death. Like, share, comment, subscribe. We got more yes, Jada Kiss verses coming because he has Jason a Phillips. Billion of them that are fire. Yeah. James Rich is here. Big U is here. I'm here. 
We out of here. Jason Voorhees. It's me. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. Handsome. Comment. All over. Oh, yeah. Buy in my style, I hope they got dental plans. So get it straight from the source and cut out the middle man. What you get? get that pure dough. What you get? get that pure dough. Go get it straight. <laughs>